What is up guys, in Gamma Retro here, and welcome back to Beyond Shadowgate for the PC. I finished up the Torlin Forest. Uh, got all my shit stolen. I'm in some kind of swamp. Yeah, I'm in some kind of swamp. Something or another. Standing water, rotting vegetation, upsetting amount of bugs are all the evidence you need to know you're in a swamp. Okay. That obnoxious imp stole your stuff. You're dead meat without your thing. Find it and get them back. Yeah, that some imp thing that stole my crap. An unusual figure hangs by strings through this tree. Looks like a grotesque doll. Of course I'm gonna want to take that. Ooh. You tug the figure hard enough to snap the strings holding it in place. As it comes loose, you unveil a startling sight. By the one. You shout, jumping backward. Bones are arranged throughout the tree, and they don't belong to animals. Yeah, That's horrible. Looking closer, you realize the skulls have been meticulously cleaned and hung from this tree. You wonder who would do this? I don't know, silly. Civilization touched this rotten swamp at some point, but all that remains are these logs and obscene tokens. Okay. Eh, itchies. It's an ancient fairy stone, another one. Okay, so I must get some type of, like... Fast travel at some point. Okay, this is like the third one or fourth one that I've seen so far. Staring to the distance, you see a large house. I do. Competing for your attention are the constant squishing of your wet socks and the obnoxious loss of your equipment. Looking up from your shoes, you are shocked to see the large, see the stark outline of a large mansion against the setting sun. The rotting walls immediately give you the creeps. It feels wrong. A mansion built alone between a desert and a swamp. Before you can say you'll never step foot in there, you see the imp scurry through the door with all your belongings. Realizing you won't survive the desert without your things, you sigh heavily from exhaustion and continue onward. Get my shit back, you little fuck nugget. As you crest the top of the stairs to follow the imp, the door slams shut right in front of you. You bitch. Its familiar shrill voice calls to you from beyond the doors. Welcome, welcome to my home. Help I need. Yes, yes, I do. I trust you? No, not yet. No friends share food. Yes, treats. Take this. Here. Bring my favorite meal. Hurry, go. See the imp open the door, crack and toss a small red stone into the ground. It quickly shuts the door again. Uh, okay. The deep red color of the stone reminds you of dried blood. Occult stone. Lift the stone off the ground, grateful that none of your friends are here to see the M get the better of you. What did it mean, my favorite meal? Where am I going to find food in the desert? You grumble to yourself. Zabedan. Fur tale of this place, the Great Baron, a wasteland that radiates a demonic heat from a spell long spent. A powerful wizard delved into the dark arts and cast a hideous spell at the expense of his life. The spell of Hellfire. That doesn't sound good. Once a region of lush forests and wetlands, this land is desolate. Only shifting sands and unextinguishable flames remain. Oh, also, when I was going through my controls and shit, yeah, I could do the, the L1 and R1 and stuff, but, um... It does this if I press L2, it brings up all of this crap, and this when I do R2. It uh, brings up a little mini-map and, like, your completion rate for that chapter. So, oh my god. That would have been so nice to have before. Headed in hospitable dunes of the desert, okay. Some kind of track? appears to be a nexus point where pipes meet. A simple metal footbridge allows for passage to the desert. Oh, no, it's pipes. Pipes east. Structure. What are you? Large structure stands alone against a swirling desert sand. Is that a stargate? I don't know, it looks very stargate-ish. Small slot at the base of structure. Okay, I have... Does a cold stone fit there? 
So an instruction it fits perfectly, but nothing happens. Something must be missing. Oh, okay. Pipe stretch east to west along this part of the desert. Their purpose is very mysterious. Ah, I got the itchies. Desert grave. This dune is a resting place of an unfortunate soul. All that is left is their sun bleached skeleton. And whatever that is they're holding. But it's clutching a round hand wheel to its bony chest. Take it. Grab the hand wheel from the clutch of this unfortunate soul. Hopeful that you might finish what they started. Ooh. Squint your eyes and look across the sand, seeing only endless dunes. You should watch your step from here on out. Uh... I don't think I want to be here. You just said endless expanse. I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't want to be there. Ooh. Hellfire pit? This molten pit burns so intensely that it may as well belong in the center of hell itself. There's a square knob at the top of this post. It looks like it's missing a piece. Oh. God, I don't have to do that. I can just click straight to here. The hand wheel. You attach the valve to the metal post. Before you turn it, you hear a low whooshing noise. Oh, hi. Suddenly, a searing gust of wind knocks you back. A flaming entity bursts forth from the lava and fixes its eyes upon you. Why? Monster of pure flame floats above the fire pit. Can I speck into the thing? That would be a no. Moving with a swiftness in which you are unprepared, the fire elemental grabs your ankles in its burning claws. It lifts you high into the air, hanging you upside down for a moment before it dropping you head first into the lava below. That's not nice. Failure evil, okay. That's just mean. Uh, probably this, but just to see. Crude figure represents a being made of flames. You heard tales of such models being used to trap elemental spirits. Yeah. Of course it is. I mean, I know what a fucking effigy is. Why did I have to... I grew up in South Louisiana. I'm familiar with the concept of voodoo. I know what an effigy is. You stretch your arm towards the fire elemental, holding the effigy in front of you like a shield. Entity shrieks at it is sucked into the effigy. The blinding flash to elemental is no more. A moment later, the effigy smolders in your hand quickly crumbling as it turns to nothing but ashes. Okay. Twist. You grab the valve and turn it slowly. The metal squeals and protests from years of neglect. You feel a rumble beneath your feet and you can sense the temperature rising. Lava has indeed begun to flow. Ooh, the paps. So it being reclaimed by the mercilessly then whatever I just said. Like the pipes. The pipes are calling. But my name's not Donny Boy. Deli Boy, I guess, maybe? No, that sounds stupid. It gets its energy pulsing through the structure. Okay, now I can use the... the occult stone. A thrumming noise rises from the structure. Your hair stands on end as power crackles through the air. Space in the center of the machine begins to waver and distort as a portal appears out of thin air. Anya! Stumble forward out of the portal, slightly nauseous from the trip. The damp smell of rotting earth is overwhelming. Stifling an urge to vomit, you turn around to survey your surroundings and see the portal flicker weakly and then disappear. The whist chimes in. Good news, bad news. Good news is we didn't implode while teleporting. Bad news is the portal is dead. Continues. We are stuck here till we can power it up. Great, you respond. Well, if it's a meal the imp wants, we won't find it down here. You say as you make for the exit. Loch Ness. Okay. Neil and examine the structure base, noting that his dirt covering the portal is loose. Digging your hands into the soil, you remove clumps of earth until you uncover a slot at the base of the structure. Okay. Shelter. The room has the familiar look of a dungeon, but you sense it wasn't for holding prisoners. Perhaps it was a shelter? 
There's a small red stone shard in the corner of the floor. It reminds you of a polished ruby. Ruby shard, one. So I guess I can get more than one. Small blood red shard looks like it was part of a larger stone. Hillside. The fortress built into the side of this hill is being reclaimed by nature. Roots and vines grow along the cracks in the walls. Is that another one? See a glint of deep red color coming from the limb of the dead tree. Looks like a stone shard. Call it memories of summer spent climbing trees in the fens, you quickly hoist yourself onto the tree limb. With the shard now in reach, you take it. Okay. Hillside is not similar to the hills of Kaltorlin, but strangely not dissimilar either. That's not what I wanted, silly. Dead forest. Thick bushes of goddammit fucking that. Thick bushes of red flowers grow along the forest path. Stare at the dead trees, you realize you don't hear any birds chirping or animals scurrying about. Is that another one? Yeah. It's like funky glow in the trees, it's like giving it away. Take the Richard, okay. Dirt trail leads to a smooth stone path, okay. Ooh. It's a road. An actual road road. It's a long road stretching off towards a dusky sky. An odd broken line repeats regularly as far as you can see. Oh, that, okay, so I'm on Earth now, so he wouldn't know what that is. Nice. Iron Gate blocks access to the property. It is, however, unlocked. Lucky you. Unlock gate opens easily. Hey, this looks familiar. You find yourself standing in front of yet another mansion. This one also gives you the creeps. Those of you who have played, this is from The Uninvited. Like another magventure game along with Shadowgate and Deja Vu. The statue of an athletic young man wearing a loincloth and holding a sword. It seems out of place near this mansion. The front doors of this mansion are large and imposing. I probably can't. You pull on the door handle, gently at first, then harder, anchoring your foot on the frame and straining fiercely. It doesn't work. There's no opening to this door. It isn't locked. There is an unseen force at work here. It's a rounded box made of metal. You wonder if something could be inside. Yes, there is. Maybe? Pull down a small panel in the front of the metal box. There's a small key inside the metal box. A key dispensary? How convenient, you remark. Oh yeah, I guess he wouldn't know what a mailbox is. Pull the key from the box. A bulkhead key? That's not for here. Nope. It's a cellar bulkhead door. A heavy padlock and thick chains are keeping it tightly shut. Fake with a double C. Eh. <laughs> uh, no. You unlock the padlock and slide the chains out of the door. Off the door. Lift the heavy doors and reveal the passage to the cellar. You're standing in a part of the cellar that is mysteriously frozen. What's an eerie mansion without an equally creepy cellar? You mumble to yourself. Ice hall. You're familiar with storing ice in the cellar for use during the summer months, but this is ridiculous. Peer into the darkness, but failed to see the bottom of the pit. So, okay. Some human remains rest close to the pit. You wonder if the two are related and decide you'd rather not know. Curiously, one large bone stands out among the rest. Ha! Grab that bone. You are strangely drawn to the large bone. Ha! You pick it up and take it with you. Ooh! Suddenly, a gust of wind sends you stumbling down the stone steps. A bloody horror appears at the top of the stairs. Uh. 
room has been enveloped in bloody horror. The sight fills you with intense dread. There's no way forward as long as this evil is in your way. Uh, okay. A blood red cover. Do sorcerers never think to make their spell books less conspicuous? You say it to the empty cellar. Patient looks like it was a receptacle, okay. Your great uncle once explained that arcane symbols are used to channel energy, but you weren't paying attention at the time. Magic is not your expertise, but you know an unholy altar when you see one. Gazing upon it, it fills you with dread. You have to cover the dusty tome and it opens to a specific page. You stare at the unfamiliar symbols for some time until the wisp raises its voice. These are powerful magics, Dale. This will release enough energy to power the portal, but I don't know what else might happen. The wisp reads a passage to you. Place upon an altar, an altar to Motari, your vessel, and in it sacrifice the three of blood. The flesh to pump the crimson fluid, the bone from which it comes, and the blood itself. Okay. Bone from which it comes. I have a bone. Hey. <laughs> old bones. I just need actual blood, and I need a heart, I guess? Ooh. Deeper is still next to the cellar bulkhead. Something must have dropped it. Their loss is your gain. Oh, okay. It. I guess there's just four shards. I almost said shards. That's terrible. So I gotta do a thing with them, or... Blay Apparition hovers silently, beckoning you to your doom. Fear overtakes you as you struggle to think of an escape. Oh, nope, it just does something. You look down and notice the red glow from your pocket. You reach in and withdraw the ruby shards. Their glow intensifies as the shards float before you. With a blinding flash of light, the shards combine into a beautiful red gemstone. The ruby pulses with radiant energy. Ooh. With a terrifying moan, the spirit reels at the side of the stone. The horror is sucked into the stone, trapping the evil. Large blood red ruby feels cold in your hand. The skull is gone, but you can still sense its presence. You're about to climb the stairs when you hear the wisp speak. That stone harbors an evil entity, Dale. It's dangerous to carry it for long. Be rid of it, and let's be on our way. Okay. Open the door. Quiet, steady. Peering through this dirty glass, the scene outside of the mansion looks grim. Small steady. The unusual curve of the wall is giving you a headache. Let the couch has seen better days, okay? Spool of thread and a sewing needle. Take the needle and discard the thread. Alright, for whatever reason. Open the desk drawer. You're only through the bunch of papers with names and numbers on them. There's nothing useful here. Really nothing? Okay. You have a long whistle as you walk into the room. It's an impressive sight. You have to remember to book a place like this for your next birthday party. Who's the, the bouquet again? The bouquet of blue flowers. They will look great on a tombstone. However, there are none in sight. <laughs> it's a metal bowl with unusual symbols etched into the side. It doesn't look like any fruit basket you've seen before. Well, yoink. Wiz speaks to you. Food, Dell. You're here for food, not flowers. Okay, you let me take all this other shit. Not here to loot this mansion, but this strange bowl has you oddly fixated. So I'd take it with you. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
There's an unusual looking horn and a crank on the side of it. Yeah. You turn the crank and a jaunty tune plays through the strange horn. Reminds you of a circus in a far off desert kingdom. Uh, huh. Is that from something? Uh, I don't know. Just kill that music. I didn't see the force bars the door. Okay. Cabinet is curiously locked tight. No, goddammit. The classic chessboard has everything you need to play, except for an opponent. One chess piece is curiously out of place. So, of course. The lack of symmetry on the chessboard annoys you enough that you slide the piece back into position. Ooh! After setting the board, you hear a faint click come from the cabinet across the room. After pulling on several of the knobs and handles, the doors finally give and slide open. Someone left the hammer here. Looks out of place in this game room. Okay, I'll take the hammer. Reach into the drawer and take the hammer. The game's room is an unusual place to store tools, you think to yourself. Best not to dwell on it. Man in this painting gives you a penetrating stare. He seems almost alive. You've seen an unattractive art in your, aid, in your day, but this may be the worst offender. Aww, that's not nice. Uh, nope. This kitchen looks to be newer than the adjoining rooms. It's a good place to find something edible for that imp. The drawer has a star-shaped symbol and something rattles inside when you shake it. The lid is tightly shut. Ooh. Use hammer. Hammer. You swing the hammer and with a crash, both the hammer and the jar shatter into pieces. Good lord, that was a shitty hammer. Aha! You shout. You were right. There was a cookie in that jar. I want to take that cookie. You gingerly grab the cookie with all the glee of a child sneaking sweets before bedtime. Simple salt shaker. You decide to ignore it. You doubt the imp wants anything, wants any seasoning. Both hanging pots and pans. Meat cleaver and sharp blade are stuck on the wall. Quite stuck, actually. You can't remove them despite trying. You tell this is an oven, but it's not what you're accustomed to. It smells of charred meat. A rotten, smoky smell rushes out as you see a chunk of charred meat on the rack. Ew. can't take that, can I? Yes, because I'm gross. Grab a chunk of meat and take it with you. Uh... It's not what I want, silly. In your search, you suddenly feel an evil presence trying to take over your mind. You feel like you're going insane. You're overwhelmed in seconds, unable to stand against this evil force. Close your eyes and open them to see the bloody skull grinning at you once more. Your quest is over. Ooh. I need to get the... I need to get rid of the thing. Should have did that when I was, like, right here. Stare at the blood red ruby. Imagine the evil contained within escaping into the world. Deciding you cannot allow this to happen, you cast a stone into the pit, hoping it is never recovered. Okay. Actually, I think that might be it. It said I needed, like, something to pump the blood of the thing, but I was expecting a heart. Okay, three of blood, flesh to pump the crimson fluid, bone from whence it comes, and the blood itself. I got the bone. This flesh to pump the crimson fluid. I, yeah, I was expecting heart, but I guess the burnt meat will do? And the blood itself. I don't have actual blood. Puts perfectly the indentation on the altar, making you wonder what it was doing in the dining room. 
face the lump of flesh into the bowl. And things pump it from where the blood comes from. I need actual blood, so maybe I use needle on myself to extract blood? You grit your teeth and wince in pain as you pierce your finger with a needle. A small drop of bright red blood slides down the needle. Yes. Aid the, you, you aid. You add the bloodstained needle to the bowl. Blue flames rise from the bowl. The wisp dives into them like it's going for a peaceful swim in a crystal lagoon. It speaks. Good news, bad news, Dell. The good news is I have enough energy to attune the portal. The wisp becomes quiet and focuses its attention. You see a small blue speck appear in its hands. The speck grows larger until it's a crystal the size of your fist. There, take this to the portal, the wisp says. Now, the bad news is that you open a gateway to what you people call hell. And a lot of angry things are coming. Oh look, there's one now. Aw, oh, you dick. It's like, yeah, bad news is... Yeah, I kind of opened a portal to a place you people call hell. So there's that, and oh look, there's something now. Channeled magic energy into a stone. It should work on the portal, okay? Grab the stone of condensed magic. It's still warm to the touch. Alright. <sighs> I know you. Strange woman appears from out of nowhere. You realize the cavern has become cold enough that you can see your breath. She's dressed like a proper lady, but she looks out of place standing in the mud. Looking closely, you see her dress is pristine. She's not standing. It looks more like she's floating. So of course I hit her. She been unlocked. Yes, ghost. Killed by a ghost lady. You've attracted the attention of the mysterious lady. She turns to face you. Her face is devoid of any flesh. I kind of figured as much. This happened in Uninvited if you tried talking to her or hitting her or something. You are frozen with horror as her bony fingers tear you apart. Her hysterical laughter echoes as your body falls to the floor. You have filled in your quest. All that you loved will perish with you. Will I get a slightly different response if I actually speak into her? Um, hello, miss? After all these years, you came back for me, my love. It's time you were mine forever. She descends upon you, tearing your chest and face to bloody ribbons. You're dead before your body hits the floor. Okay. Okay, you can just fuck off. Ooh, mansion's open. Your curiosity got the best of you. You step back into the mansion. The foyer is dead silent. Uh, I don't go here? Overwhelming evil, killed by the ghost mob. God damn it. A cacophony of screams shatters the silence as all the evil energy of the house descends upon you at once. There is no escape. Their vile presence overwhelms you and you join the masked horde of the undead that now inhabit this estate. You turn around to see your new master, a horrific blood red skull smiling fiendishly at you. Your quest is over. God damn it, I thought I'd come here. No, I don't come here. God damn it, I gotta go do the thing with the cookie. God damn it. Sase bed. Mais petit mad, yeah. A rumbling noise approaches from the distance. You turn to see two intensely bright lights moving towards you. The stairs, they grow larger and larger. They're headed right for you. Uh, 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 oh, shit. A rumbling noise and bright light approach faster and faster. You turn to start to run towards the mansion. Fortunately, that's also the direction the carriage swerves. One of its lights strikes your legs, ripping them clean off. God damn! You bleed to death in a bloody heap on the side of the road. I mean, Jesus Christ, when I got in my fucking accident, I mean... Yeah, the car hit me, and it just hit me so hard it just ripped the side view mirror off. Like the passenger side view mirror. And it just threw me forward off my bike. I hit the road and skid and then rolled like head over heels. That was very fucking unpleasant. Okay, let's try that again. I go this way, I guess. The rumbling noise and bright lights approach you faster and faster. You turn and start to run towards the fortress. You hear a screeching noise and a woman's scream behind you, followed by a tremendous crunch. 
Whew, glad to be out of that spot, you exclaimed to the empty wilderness. You smell a pungent odor filling the air. You have no interest in going back to learn what that was. It's time for you to check on the portal. Oh, that's awesome. Feel like you've been in the strange land long enough. You better... Wait, it's better if you get to the portal and leave. Oh, that's awesome. Uh... This segue is straight from The Uninvited, because that's how it starts off. That you're just driving along, and just this, like, sh shadow person just walks onto the road, and you swerve and crash, and that's what causes that whole thing to happen. So that was you. Oh, that's awesome. That's real nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Chapter 5 complete. Nice. Loch Ness. I guess it's the name of the mansion. You kneel in the dirt and place the blue stone in the socket. You hear a gentle humming sound as a portal appears before you. Finally, you shout. One mansion is more than enough to deal with today. The fuck out of here. Achievement unlocked. Reinvited. Escape the Loch Ness. I never knew the name of the mansion in the original game. I don't know if they actually said it or not, but that's fine. You walk out of the portal, slightly less nauseous than your first trip across space and time. The wisp, however, is strangely quiet and less animated. It does not look well. You turn to face the structure, just in time to see the stone inside it shatter and the portal fade. All that for a cookie. Oh well, at least I can get my thing from that accursed imp, you say with a hint of irritation. Chapter 5 barrel, okay, so I still got that to take care of. You laid the cookie on the ground before you laid the cookie on the ground. Before you can shout that you brought it food, the imp swipes up the treat. Yum yum, my favorite. Come inside. Yes, follow. Come catch me, the imp shouts, leaving the door ajar for you to follow. You sighed loudly, not excited by the ungrateful imp or the foreboding atmosphere of the lonely mansion. Okay. Eh? I guess there's more shit for me to do here, or maybe I come back later on and do stuff? I'm not sure how the map works for that. I think I might come back later with more stuff to do, but you know what? It says, uh, Themir Mansion? Seconds after you enter the room, a gust of wind slams the door shut behind you. It's locked tight. The door handle feels odd, as if it's vibrating. The force might be holding it closed. Fear washes over you as you realize you're locked in this mansion, and without your equipment, you must get it all back. Okay. Yeah, Themir Mansion, Chapter 6. I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys, when I come back. Uh, I guess I'm going to be exploring another mansion that I've also been magically locked inside of. i got to get my shit back from that imp that stole my crap. But yeah, I come back and explore Theramir Mansion. So until then, this is Indie Gamma Retro on Beyond Shadowgate. Later, guys.